Good day everyone and once again welcome to our YouTube channel and as we continue to uh, discuss the Word of God and as we continue to preach our message entitled Be Alone with God. Now as we start this uh, afternoon, let me read to you the passage in the book of Mark chapter 4, 10, and uh, verse 24. The word of God says, And when he was alone, they that were up about him with the twelve asked of him the parable. But without the parable spake he not unto them. And when they were alone, he expounded all things to his disciples. You know what? Some people are afraid to be alone. When we talk about alone in the dark, alone at work, alone in a certain place, alone at home, alone in bearing those problems, alone in sickness and brokenness. You know what? In everything, people are afraid of being alone. Pero may arap man tao, gidiyang why sila makadlok mag-isahanon. Alimbawa, kung ang tao, hindi siya makakita isang partner sa iya kabuhi. They are not afraid of being alone. But there are people na sa amun nga bahin, hadlok kin sila nga mag-isahanon. Now, we can see here that when Jesus Christ left the crowd and being alone with His disciples and spoke, He explained to them all things. You know what? In our life, there are certain situations that we cannot understand. There are certain things or circumstances that we cannot explain. And there are certain problems that we cannot solve. And to be in public, to be with people, has limitations. No, ano bala ang makuha naton? Nga benefits or what could be the advantages of being alone with God? Kinanlan naton nga mag desire at times that we need to settle and to constrain our environment so that we could able to have time with God. Kaya nga aman, sa sina nga bahin, kung kita, kag ang Diyos lang kitiya, pwede kita ka istorya sa iya sa insakto. Kaya seryoso din. That is why He wants us to be alone with Him. Because to be alone with Him, we could able to understand and we could able to determine who we are. May mga tinion gali nga galus of of uh, sight ikaw. Kun ka isa hindi kita mag maka-explain kun sino kita. Sometimes may mga times nga daw hindi naton kilala kun sino kita. There are even times nga kun sa diin na tingala ka, you wonder why. Uh, about sa imo kagalingon. Kag sisina nga bahin nagahatag ina sang confusion sa imo. Pero ka nami kay kung ikaw maghatag diyon kag ikaw lang kag ang Dios, God will going to show you and you will going to determine who you are. Now, Jesus doesn't take us aside and explain things to us all the time. Hindi sa tanan nga bagay. Hindi sa tanan nga tiyon. Ang Dios mag-explain sa aton sang tanan man nga mga butang. may mga butang nga kung sa diin, hindi natin maintindihan sa aton kagalingan. But after being alone with Him, dira natin na notice, dira natin na determine kung nanugid ba lang problema sa aton kagalingan. And the truth is, when it comes to the ministry, when it comes to the church, when it comes to the through service in God, hindi kita magamit sa ginoo kung wala pa natin maintindihan ang mga butang na ginatudlo niya sa aton. Because we can only use by God after we allow Him fixed everything. We allow Him fixed everything. Especially 
the deep hidden areas of our character. Why? Because sometimes we are ignorant about ourselves. We don't even recognize the envy, the laziness, or even the pride within us when we see it. But being alone with Him, He will reveal to us everything we have held within ourselves before His grace began to work. So, hindi natin maintindihan ang aton kagalingan. But sometimes, it's hard to perceive kung ano, kag ano nga kalatabo sa aton. Pero, ang namit dari, nga maintindihan lamang natin ina, kung tugutan natin ang Diyos nga magpakigambal sa aton man, nga kagalingan. So, the only one who can understand, who can fully understand us, who can fully understand ourselves is no other than but God. So, sang ikaw nag-aisahan nun, sang si Kristo nag-aisahan nun, kaupod ang iya nga mga disipulo, dira ginsay, say sang gino ang tanan. God or Jesus Christ explained to them everything. Whether there is element of and fixed things remaining in our selves, Jesus can teach us anything. Kung may nabilin pa rin nga hindi manami nga bahin sang aton pamatasan, hindi gid naton maintindihan ang mga pagtudlo sa aton ginoo. O kung hindi magtudlo ang ginoo sina sa aton. So, He will allow us only first to experience heartbreak or disappointment when we feel our intellectual pride is already wounded. So, if you have doubts, kung may ara ikaw nga pang dua it's better to be alone with Him and He will clear up everything to you. If you are weak, be alone with Him also and you will be strengthened by His might. And if you are sick, be alone with Him also and you will be healed. If you are misled, be alone with Him also and He will direct your paths. If you are disappointed, if you are depressed, or even you are discouraged, be alone with Him, and He will comfort you. So sa sininga ba yun, mga otod sa ginoo, kung dalon na kita gani sa Diyos, sa isa ka, sa isa ka lugar, nga kung sa diin siya lang, kag kita, di na natin may eksperensyahan, nga may ara, gusto ang ginoo nga gubon sa aton kabuhi when we allow when he allow us to experience suffering heartbreak or maybe temptations disappointments he gets us absolutely alone and we are totally speechless the time hindi kina kita ka pamangkot sa ginoo sa isa pa ka because during the time jesus began to teach us something So notice, Jesus Christ's training of the twelve. Notice here, it was the disciples and not the crowd. And not the crowd outside who were confused. His very own disciples constantly asked him a question. And he constantly explained to them things But they did not even understand it. Asta na lang nga nabato nila ang balaan ng Espiritu. And the Holy Spirit teach them all things. Now as we close this meditation, as you journey with God sa imong kabuhi, the only thing He intends to be clear is the way He deals with your soul. The sorrows, the difficulties, in the lives of others will be absolutely confusing to you. But listen to this. Sometimes we think we understand the struggles not until God reveals the same struggles 
in our lives. So there are vast areas of stubbornness and ignorance that the Holy Spirit reveals in such one of us, in each one of us. And about it can only be done when Jesus gets us alone. So being alone with Him every day was the best experience in life. Being alone with Him, He is revealing to us who He is and who we are. His desires for you and for me. Kamag-isahan nun kita nga isa lang atong tagipusoon sa pag-alagad sa ginoo. Kagula na sa iba. So ang pamangkot sa ninyo hapon, are you ever been alone with God? Kagusto mo bala na mag sa points ng imong kabuhi na ikaw lang kag ang Diyos? Or are you more than concerned with your own agendas, with your own ideas, the friendships and the cares of this world, and even your body and the cares of this world? Now, Jesus teach you anything until you quit all your intellectual questions and get along with Him.